we go. Mother three. Womp. Last time on the crawling dusk, greeted by the pirate island native Morgo, our heroes were welcomed into the settlement. After some small talk, Baggy drew a symbol in the snow and asked if the mysterious buyer had the symbol of the golden tail on his person. She eyed a group offset from the rest, then said she hadn't seen it on the buyer, but instead on all five of that group. After an oddly specific comparison, Sawyer inquires about any merchants in the area. Morgo explained the, the lack of a merchant, but mentioned that the travelers here would be willing to trade. Then she rubbed her eyes and asked if the party saw a third statue over by the exit of the settlement. Apparently, there were only two statues initially, so Fenro poked the extra statue with his mace, causing it to reveal its true form in a puff of chalk. A goidles had appeared before them, a gargoyle donning a large turtle shell, claiming to be a part of a huge conglomerate of traveling gargoyle merchants. From apple gels to zygu, goidles had all sorts of goodies for the adventurers, and the haggling ensued. All in all, the group garnered a few apple gels, a few sending looms, some delicious goidles brand rock candy, a promise of business with the bad bitches brigade, and the most potent deluge the goidles had to offer. All for an electric eel, a picture of a mushroom guy in a suit of armor, and some geld. Once the deals and buys were done, Sawyer, Fenro, and Rod spent some time getting to know the Bingus Bard, Twinkle and Fall, and his companions, Orvo and Pippiday. Their time was spent around the fire, laughing, playing instruments, singing, and a bit of trading upon realizing their natural talent for music. Fenro purchased a banjo, and Sawyer a lyre. When Rod borrowed Orvo's drums and started going ham, the idea to form a band was naturally proposed. From Backstreet Boys to Backbeat Boys to B3, hmm, some names were tossed around. Pippiday's spherical grung cauldron was offered a couple of treats from Sawyer. The Fenro dusk goop was filtered and purified as was one of the orbs of illuminated dye fire. Sawyer tested the elixir with an iron stomach and gained a mouth cannon of twilight that turned material into water. For its 10 minute duration, Sawyer had some fun with its effects, accidentally firing a blast through the tent where Baggy conferenced with the buyer. Baggy and the buyer enjoyed some tea as she discovered that the buyer possessed a box that had the ability to transport things upon placing them inside. If the group brings back the cure for crawling dusk, he could get it where it needs to go with haste. The group played alchemist for a time, attempting to infect themselves with the crawling dusk, temporarily, to test the purified dye fire elixir's ability to heal it. It appeared that their efforts only affirmed what they already knew. They would need to find someone well along in the disease's thrall to test it and learn more. After asking a local penguin folk club, it seemed no one in the settlement had contracted Crawling Dusk. Club then asked for them to send his brother home, if they had the time to find him. Rory, one of the five sons of the infamous Pi, went missing three days ago. As our heroes settle in to late, to the late, Jerma J. Bananas tents. What awaits Baggy within Little Howler's dream? What awaits them in the vast tundra of Ventralum? Will they be able to save Rory? Infiltrate Vardenvault, recover the cure, and unravel the mystery of the disease's origin. As night fully falls, we return to our story. All right, so it is nighttime. Everybody, find your way to a tent and settle in for the night. Or just let me know, you know, what are you doing in the night? <laughs> oh. Oof, this is the first time I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Technically. Yeah, and also yeah. retrospectively fine if you wanted to purchase anything from uh, the Goidles or from uh, uh, Pippiday. 
uh, just let me know. All right, yeah. I'll. Uh, uh, you see. played the VODs, right? I'll Let's probably send. like check them out. I did. That I um, did. Let me send you. Um, okay. His stock. Oh, okay. Uh. For you to look over. You don't have to decide on anything now. Yeah. Uh, fine right now, like, they're going to sleep, right? Yeah, most people. Yeah, well, at least, he's... I say most people, I mean, out of the party, me and Finro are at least. I know we planned on that from last time. Yep. Mm. Yeah, fine would just be, like, documenting everything and also, like, trying to draw the, like, the landscape and also... The fucking gargoyle that he found, he's just fucking drawing him and like confused about it a little bit, probably. I'm not sure, has he ever seen a, a trading gargoyle in his life? I would say most likely not. Um, yeah. E even the research you did into this land, I would say, roll me a history check real quick. Uh, yeah, I can't roll, so someone else has to. Oh, yeah, because he's only got the phone at the moment. Snap. If you oh, want to yeah. take control or hand pass off to me, either way it works. I would, I would appreciate passing it off to you. Yeah, Hang sure on, thing, I, will, I got you. I'll give you, uh, give you control of it. That cool with you, Abode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright, uh, I got be you. able to work with it now. I shall be your designated roller, similar to a designated <laughs> driver. <laughs> yeah. Right, uh, I thought he's too drunk to roll right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. I can't grab the dice, you know. All right, yeah, history. You said they keep, Mitch. He, he keeps following yes, history. Them. Well, maybe you should have let him go. Five. Um, yeah, you vaguely you have a roll, vague <laughs> idea of what a gargoyle is, right? Like you know that they are these creatures of stone that. Uh, oh. Supposedly came from the elemental, you know, plane of Earth. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're born of some kind of entity within that that plane. You're not uh, details are a little fuzzy, but uh, you can imagine how they got here. The fact that he's wearing a turtle shell makes absolutely no sense <laughs> until he explained mm -hmm. it. You know, uh, in that, you know, in in your guys's bartering and, and conversation. Mm. And even when he explained it, it, it still doesn't make a ton of sense, but it's like a branding thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so fine, because he doesn't hasn't seen anything like that. He would just, like, document everything that the fucking gargoyle said and every word. Like a transcript or some shit. Nice, nice. Because <laughs> it is a planar being, so that's, like, extra, like, you know... <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. Can't think of anything else. All right, cool. Everybody else, what is filling uh, you know the rest of your time as night is falling? Sleepy time. Yep. Good. You ask that you guys pick a tent, or if you're sleeping outside, let me know. Me and Finner already got Jeremy J Bananas old tent. Heck yeah. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Can I look for more relics of German J Banana before I go to sleep? Oh, I'm <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll you, be investigating. You find a happy in shoe. <laughs> I'll sleep in here and I have George sleep directly next to Fenro. Whoa. <laughs> this German J Banana guy's a psychopath. Those Honestly, psychopath. probably. Uh, he wrote a book called What the Dog Doing about yeah, dogs. That's true. That's crazy. <laughs> and he ate a sabaton, you know? <laughs> there was just an extended period of just in the book about dachshunds. And it got really weird and not really academic in the writing. He just kept going on and on about one dog named Otto. Yeah. yeah. Not Otto. Otto. What is weird. Otto doing? These are the questions that Aim to be answered in German J Bananas. What the dog doing? <laughs> um, but Fenro, you roll an investigation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear what it was. Ah. Oh. All right, well, fine. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, here's the thing I'm going to let you decide. 
What, what do okay. you find? <laughs> What's the dog doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> I already got what the dog doing. The natural um, 20, I'm gonna let you decide. Damn. Oh, man. What would... Can I find... <laughs> Oh man, I have no idea what I should do. like. You should find. Lost. You can have some time to think about it as well, if if you need it. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of time. I, I have I'll like one on one you idea. You just at find the a tabard that says "Look at this dude," and it has Spider Man on it. My idea was essentially just. <laughs> That's it. actually good. Can I get? Can I get like a tabard that just has? One second, let me find the image. <laughs> <laughs> From the fucking TKO. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let me see this. <laughs> my my idea was just a, a bust of, mm -hmm. of Germa's head. <laughs> oh. Fire <laughs> man, look at this dude. Look at this dude. <laughs> Did I hear my name just now? This is beautiful. Yeah, Carl said your name. Now let me show uh, that. That's the classic the Germa. Yeah. This is excellent. That's Fire Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna say, you, you, you find, like, a, um, it, it isn't a t-shirt, granted, but it, it is yeah, a cloak, it, it... uh, that seems to be of, either of his own design, or something that he got tailor-made for him, that appears to have, yeah, a, l a little fella um, sewn into the front, um, with, you know, velvet hair, and I'm fireman like this. written in velvet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tavern. Oh my god. <laughs> we just look at this dude on it. <laughs> Dude, Dude you put the over your has this shirt armor. Now. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, what is everybody else doing? Ben, yeah, ben, go going to sleep. Ben, yeah. He's going to sleep. So I too? got spell slots to fill up. <laughs> true. 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 Uh, and Rod, you sleeping outside? Hanging by the fire? Yeah. Alrighty, cool. Um Okay. Let's uh let's have Rod roll for you sleepies. The schleps. More than a ten. Nice, okay. So you do you are able to drift off to sleep. Let's go, Pucky. Sleep hog. It's pretty darn frigid out there, but something about the the fire, um, and you know the the cozy the coziness of this settlement uh, sets you at ease enough to uh, gain you some some solid snooze. Let's go. Um, That's hype. Okay, so as everybody is falling into their sleep. Baggy, do yeah. tell, do tell, <laughs> where do you go? Alright, so, um, as you know, everyone's drifting off, Baggy gets what's now, this is the third night that she's experienced this, mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, sort of becoming, uh, you know, an expected part of everything, and she drifts on all over, Towards Lil Howler. Gonna see what, what he's got going on there. And then sort of like just swimming. She's like backstroking herself through the air. And she sort of astrally projects into Little Howler's dreams. Heck yeah. You, you see Little Howler has a little like uh, cloud above his head that you can climb into. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Right, let's see here. I think this one would probably do it. It's a little loud. Baggy. You see, within the dream of Little Howler, Old Howler walks in a desert of space dust. After some time, he lifts his hat and sees Little Howler wake up and stretch atop his noggin. Little Howler crawls out of the hat and down to Old Howler's shoulder and perches there, looking around as his journey continues through the sparkling abyss. As they walk along, Baggy, you see as time lapses. Little Howler grows to adulthood, and Old Howler 
turns to skeletal remains and falls. Little Howler stops to bury the bones, then places a headstone there with the word Howler and what must be thousands of tally marks carved in its face. Little Howler then stands, speaks his thanks, lays a flower by the grave, dons Old Howler's hat, and continues walking. Another lapse of time, Little Howler steadily grows wrinkled, and his hair splits at the ends and grays. And before long, he looks just like Old Howler. Then you see some movement under the red feathered pirate hat. Little Howler looks up, lifts his hat, and Little Howler yawns and stretches, awakening atop his noggin. This same cycle seems to continue over and over. Little Howler awakens. Old Howler passes on once Little Howler is grown. Little Howler mourns the loss of his better, dons the red feathered cap, then carries on until he turns old and gray and notices the movement under his hat. Now, Baggy, are you attempting to be stealthy within this dream? I think Baggy probably was, but Baggy, much like myself, is completely just dumbstruck, so she's just sort of there. All right, roll me a stealth check. Bah. Should we Six. be traveling with these people? Six. Little um, Howler is an endless cycle. It's on the um it's on about the third cycle that Little Howler stands from the grave uh and turns and looks you directly in the eyes and says Well Huh. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah. Well, I was uh, going for just a little bit of a nightly stroll thing I sort of kind of have to do now nightly. Uh, so, well, you seem to be in all good shapes of spirit. So I'll see you now. Baggy, like, tries to walk away. <laughs> Um, you hit a barrier as soon as you turn, and he says, I, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll let you go here, I will, but it's, it's just such a nice surprise, I, I dream the same thing every night, you see, and uh, this is different, I'm curious to see how it will affect the cycle. That's all. If you wish to stay and, and talk, that is would be welcome, but you may go. And I mean hand. I'll be honest, this was a little bit of a surprise, but at the same time, both of y'all you? I don't how do I refer are you like twin so I it's a confusing little rabbit hole I seem to have found myself in. Um that being sa said, uh, you don't, you ain't, you always been, you know, mighty nice, both of y'all, yourself. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard. It's confusing. What I'm trying to say is you're nice, and I, I want my uh, chatting with you. I mean, hey, if you got anything you need to offload, I'm quite the listener, as I've been told. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm what you might call an anomaly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel I, I wouldn't find too much fun in talking of myself, but... Uh, well, um, if you want to know anything about me, feel free to ask. I'm a little bit of an open book, as they say. This magic that you have with you, or a part of you, how, how does it work? How do you make your way into the dreamscape well 
So recently, uh, when we went off to find the fuel source for the ship, ran into uh, something of alien origins, it seemed. Got a fancy little red bracer here, and now I can mess with people's memories and hop in their dreams. It's actually really useful. Uh, but I... I, what I try to... Only use the fiber spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice second guess. <laughs> I still got yeah. it. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, it's 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 uh real useful. Honestly, the reason I was even looking for this in specific was uh, Miyuki over in um Bonobo Bay had something similar. And I kind of got uh, more than a singular bone to pick with her. Um, so that's, um, so. How, that's how she did it. Yeah. I, wondering. I, I figured I, if I didn't at least have a similar object, it wouldn't be exactly, you know, a good playing field towards me. Of course, I'm still going to do everything I can to shift the balance in my favor. But the more advantages, the better, as they say. Well, believe me, I would have done something by now if I weren't in, well, a difficult stage in the cycle. Yeah, no, it, it seems a little, like, interesting. So, you're still doing pretty well on both ends. Does that mean, like, when you're in the prime of this all, you're just, like, extremely powerful? Like, when the little you grows up about a good few years, you'll be, like, just... Back on the high seas again, like pine you used to? Mm. I'm sorry if those that's an intrusive question. I, I I'm just lots of curiosities running here. No, it's it's alright, it's alright. Um I don't believe I'll be able to say it with pie again, unfortunately. But well, we've, we've had plenty of adventure. No, nah, I figured that. I'm just trying to figure like the stories I heard, basically what I'm getting at is all the stories that I've heard up till now are 100% factual, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that. Yeah. Well, gee. <laughs> this was... I knew you had something, do you? I just... Didn't know it was this, but still, it's nice to get to actually meet you. So, well, Howler, no, I, I got more to four. see for sure. And but. as soon as he says four, and in, in the middle of your own uh, sentence, you slip, seem to fall out of the cloud. Um, seemingly something has forced you out. It seems like there there well. is some sort of like time limit to, uh, you know, to the dream walk. Damn it. Well, that was interesting. Let's go for a round two, to, but not on Old Howler. We still got one more dream to walk. All right. Twinkles, here I come. All right. Twinkle approaches a bonfire, while other tabaxi approach from all directions and begin a dance around the flames. Their shadows then cast from a great rustling of white fur, intertwining with the flickering fire. The shadows engulf him, growing darker, pushing him back and away from the heat. He begins shivering, pleading for them to let him stay. Soon he is pushed far and away into a massive pile of snow. He sinks back into it until we see only his face silhouetted in shining white. His face droops. We see the fire pit again, but the flames is, have vanished. He walks forward to the center of the ash and spins to see the scene before him. All the tabaxi lay dead. The snow and their stark white fur stained a dark crimson red. His eyes seem to sink, 
as an elder tabaxi walks up holding tight to a long walking stick. She says, It's their own fault, you know. Twinkle sniffles, catching the first flake of a fresh snowfall on his nose. Brings round his lyre and strums the same tune he played around the fire last night. Baggy, are you attempting to be stealthy in this dream? Definitely this time. This is right. immensely something personal, and I, 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 I already feel uncomfortable. I am very bad today. Um. Yeah, he, uh, he, he does spot you, uh, but you see, he gets just a quizzical look. He, he fumbles one of the notes, right? It goes off key for a moment uh, before he uh, kind of just shakes his head and begins to play again, lost in thought. He's just going to kind of slink out. <laughs> All right. Easily <laughs> This feels... It's, it's there's a sorrowfulness and a mournfulness that overtakes her that she just doesn't want to be around. She's going. Right on. Good deal. And thus ends the dream walk of the night. Um. So, Fenro. Oops. Yo. One moment. Then yo. What a. It's all right. <laughs> and then, so this, this character. How could you do this? <laughs> he um. Yeah, you see him just fall face first, like the the imprint of his face like goes into the tent layer, um, and like a portion of it, like the corner gets knocked down. And Fenro, you're awoken by like some of the supports up top falling on top of you, and the rest of you, you two, uh, Baggy and Sawyer, certainly wake up at this, and you you see the scene before you with uh, this character just kind of looking up, um, trying to. Sp spat out the flames where his uh his cigarette had uh caught fire and he just goes uh, oh um oh, okay okay um howdy howdy i think you got I'm, the wrong tent i'm gonna ready my crossbow i uh, listen listen i'm uh just had one too many tonight i i didn't know this was my this wasn't my uh my tent Get out. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, insight right. check that. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Because Baggy is already distrustful of this man, being part of the group that has been described as Golden Tail um, affiliated. So, yeah. And I have uh, an advantage on insight. Three. Ooh. 13, 13. You got advantage. That's a hell of advantage, man. I know. Oh, you have nice. 13 and 13 again. Uh, so oh. you, can, you can tell that maybe he has had something to drink, but that's not why he's here. <laughs> so you going to tell us the real reason you're here, or should I just have Sawyer over there... Uh... Loose a bolt. Because I'll be honest with you, I'm not really taken to listen to thieves and criminals too often. Like, sure, I've traveled with a few, and myself may be considered one, but like, organized crime, really? That's just a whole kit and caboodle I'm not a fan of. So get as, talking. As Baggy says that, I do move my finger towards the trigger. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I am. Um, I'll talk, I'll talk. I, uh, listen, I'm. It seems you've, you've discovered maybe where we come from or uh, the people we, you know, we're, we're involved with. Yeah, yeah you could say that. Okay, so that that 
You seem to know a bit about him. That probably doesn't paint us in the best of lights. Uh, Especially not when you're creeping around and smacking into our tent. Get a night. Right. So yeah, keep that talking. Was, that's my bad. And I'll allow me to compensate. Right. I'll, I'll get you guys maybe something pretty. But I'll, my reason for being here was to get this one. You here. know whose tent this was. Whose? A legendary adventurer. All right. And you, you just disturbed the peace of it. Is that right? Yeah. Apologize. Ever hear of Jeremy J. Banana? Jeremy J. Banana. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that he got eaten by a saber tooth. And that he wrote yeah, but, a pretty damn you know, book. But, uh, oh, what the dog doing? Exactly. Got about Great two talk. copies, right? On me at all times. One to give away and one to continuously read. <laughs> Not somebody else understands. Right, right. Well, anyway, you had right. a reason for being here? I am um, right. I was hoping to grab this one's ear. And he points um he points at Fenro. Uh why do you what do you want with my ear? Well, I just mean that I wanted to talk. You see, you you got a uh, certain resemblance to somebody we know. Oh, really? Uh, who might that be? I I haven't introduced myself. I'm Athens Vecard, but most people call me Ats. You might be Finro. The, uh, you know, it's my name. What's it to you? Jess Fenro, then. What about you two? Uh, oh, that's that's Baggy and that's Sawyer. Baggy. And Sawyer. I wasn't gonna tell him anything, yeah, because I don't <laughs> frankly test them. But hey, you know what? Whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm Baggy. It's about all you only know. Though I will say that name will be much more uh, familiar to, you know, your descendants come years to be. When my adventuring guild goes gigantic. And half and of your golden tails are joining me instead of the whole golden tail scenario. Oh, really? And you know me when, when the other half of the golden tails are at my concerts. Ooh. I'm in. I'm in a band. With a, a, a band <laughs> too, actually. Yeah, you guys play. Oh yeah, we. Yeah. We're uh, pretty I mean, good. I I I right play some for you, but uh, I'm I'm currently threatening you with a crossbow. Right, right. Now, let me let me be frank. Anyway, Finn. Oh. Fenro. You got a so last name. Your name was Athens. Yeah. What? I'm not. Frank, I, that's a manner of speaking. Fenro, do you got a you got a last name? I do. But why are you asking? Baggy's gonna walk over to Fenro and just like <sighs> slide him a piece of uh, her scarf. I already have something. It I well, I, that technically, I think that disappears uh, every long rest. So I'm giving you another oh. piece. Yeah, Fenro, if but you anyway. reach for that in your pocket, it's yeah, it's not there. I give you, I give you a, another piece of the scarf, and and now we are talking. We can talk telepathically. Wow. Or rather, I can talk to you. It's a one way thing, apparently. But point being, I'm gonna talk into your mind. You think you think this could be something about family past? Worth looking into? Listen, who, who do you think I got a relation to? You say I look like somebody, so you must know who. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's just a hunch. It was probably nothing. An another 
another field bowl. I gotta know. That's all. They got a name? They do, but uh can't exactly impart my employer's name without permission. You understand? I all right. you can I'm kinda I kinda like am uh shifting the crossbow a little bit, saying uh you're not much in a position to not be answering our questions. Yeah, he raises his hand and says, Might I get that compensation to maybe change y'all's mind? What sort of oh, compensation? I, I just mean gal. Uh, well, right now I'm more interested in hearing who that is. Because, here, I'll hear you out. I'm having somebody at least come with me, you know, as a little protection. Yeah, just, oh, uh, sure, you uh, understand. I got your back if you want me to. I got, the, I got, I already got a crossbow aim to him. I won't mind keeping it for a little longer. Yeah. Are, are no, you first... willing to get up out of the room, though, Sawyer? Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, though, is your employer here? Or... No. Will I be able to get to know who it is? You know, that's really the only reason I'd go. Well, uh, that, that would all, uh, that would all depend. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, our employer is, uh, back where we traveled from, and, uh, well, I, I wouldn't be willing to impart the name until you share your own. Where would that be? Well, uh, it's, it's located in uh, the continent of Coverlet. All right, well, I, I've been there before, but I don't yeah. think we're headed there anytime soon. Quilt in the Gore's domain. Well, I guess... Listen, we got work here. Maybe later I'll take you up on it, but for now... I got nothing for you. You ain't even gonna just talk to him outside? Last name or nothing? Figure out if this is even a route worth taking? Fine. I mean, Curtis. it's up to you, ultimate. Oh. Finro Curtis. You don't say. <laughs> you see, as he um, he vanishes in a puff of red smoke. Let's That's see. fine, right? That's normal, right? Like people vanish into red smoke all the time. It's just like I mean, a thing that happens. I mean, I've seen it happen before, but it's more when they're just like completely eviscerated to the point that all, all that's left is a red smoky mist. Oh yeah, I've seen that too. But I, I don't think that's what happened here, but who knows? I'm roll sure me, it's um, fine. Roll me perception, everybody, in the in that tent. You got it, boss hoss. And actually, um, I do it for George too. Uh, Fenro and and Rod too. Just I never us. roll bad on perception. <laughs> I meant to have you guys roll perception. I never roll bad on perception. Hey Rod, how about you? How do you roll on perception? I, I don't know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty perceptive. Hey, you know what? You did. Be- <laughs> That's a Constitution save. <laughs> George, is, George is feeling hardy. Why? Why did it roll Constitution save? <laughs> Okay, well, the row, the row should be a 22, because he has a plus 3 for perception. No, it rolled perception, too, and you got a 9 on that. No, I rolled constitution first. He wants accident. to take that first. Uh, oh, first yeah. I'm, ta- I'm taking that roll. You're <laughs> taking that from me. That's we always take the better roll, even if it's the second roll. Come on. That's fair. No, so, I no I at least, at least for Nick. One. Yeah, I'm different. <laughs> so, Sawyer and Fenro, you do uh, manage to track... Uh, the trail, just a thin trail of red smoke that leads uh, in through a crack in this tent. And you hear just the faintest 
Uh, I'm inside this tent. And then again. <laughs> Shall we go over? If you run out there right away, <laughs> you see him appear like right about here. And he's like, um, uh. What you doing? <clears throat> they just took that and left. I, uh. <laughs> well, you see. Oh. <laughs> he disappears again. <laughs> Roll perception. Hey, uh. I've got a question for you, actually, Mitch. Sure, sure. Now. Would this be something I could actually use uh, my fighting style for? The blind fighting, which gives me blind sight within a range of 10 feet. Oh. Suppose that yes. I were to get close enough to him. Yes, without a doubt. Start running around to get within 10 feet of him? Well, I can, I can infer where he's going. I ain't got to take but, wild guesses, but I can head over this way and that basically... Don't you have to close your eyes? No, I just have passive blind sign. And granted, if I, you do uh, move over that way, that's you do blind catch sight him. doesn't mean to pl <laughs> right blind. Here. It just means you can. It's basically like true sight. It gives you an ability to see things that are invisible and other things, oh, and wow. doesn't re rely on vision at all, which is why it's called blind sight because you don't technically need the eyes. You could be blind and still have it. So can you see him as you like? But you're not blind. No, I'm not blind. I, okay. Are we? Are we still talking about this? <laughs> Nick's having trouble understanding it. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm joking. All right. You good? You anyway. good? Anyway, you see um and Baggy. Yeah, as you round that corner past that uh you know now doused fire, uh you see him like holding his hat and like tiptoeing forward before his his eyes just stop and slowly move over to you and he goes. Uh, I, uh, okay, so, <laughs> Baggy just waves to him. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I'm, uh, uh listen, I'll, uh, I, I'm just playing a little tag, right? <laughs> a little bit of, a little bit of fun, right? That wasn't so, a man. tag, that's cheating! You cannot go invisible during tag, that's not in the rules! It's not, hey, I just poofed, right? It's not invisibility. <laughs> you pooped? Poofed. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. My Fs don't don't come out too strong. <laughs> well. Anyway, now you owe us double. One for the tent and one for cheating for tag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll, I will uh, reimburse, right? Um, listen, we, uh, our employer, that's, uh, well, He's a he's a Curtis too, and I I I, I could have sworn he didn't have no more relatives. You got a name? Me? I'm Alex. No, I got your name. I meant that Curtis you were talking about. Yeah, we already know your name's Frank. <laughs> Yeah. Or at least say you'll be Frank at some point. <laughs> yeah, I'll become Frank. Right now. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm... I'm well, I, I could get in some trouble, but heck, we're, uh... We're pretty far away. I mean... I'll, I'll be honest with you. Away. You, you, you talk right and now? I don't have to hurt you. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> and I don't got a wash bag he hurt you. And I don't have to watch Baggy hurt you. <laughs> I do not want anyone to get hurt tonight, right? We're in a, we're in a nice encampment here. <laughs> I, um... Mitch, is there supposed to be two of ass? Oh, shoot. What? He's oh, still by the fire. <laughs> Break. Oh, there's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, it's a decoy. It's a decoy. Wait a second. Hang on. Let me, let me see something real quick. <laughs> it's just a decoy. It's magic, man. Because if he has... You gotta explain shit. Okay, he uh. doesn't, but hold up. I'm pretty sure one of these goobers is... 
capable of, of that? No, about it. Do you need me to stream the game for you so you can see? Is the body just been going off of audio? For uh, yes. Yeah, I, I can stream uh, too. This is whoever. I got you. There you I go. I can also stream at the same I already, time. I already got you. <laughs> okay, Nathan, you know what we got to do. Mm, yeah, no. He's, um, yeah. <laughs> no, that was. Dude, that was a mistake. He, he, <laughs> well, could, he was couldn't. Have I was put, like, oh, that uh, could be genuine, supposed to be. Um, it's a mimic. <laughs> You oh, see that anyone. that we'll say just for like posterity's sake. Um, you see that it's like little bike. apparition, <laughs> poof, and he's going. Well, so his name uh, again. We're we're far far away from cover that, and I don't think we got no eyes around here. As far as I can tell, Eustace is the name. We, He's alive. We mostly just call him the Tales Whisperer. But a few of us know his name, as, as you can tell. Well, that's, uh, that's good to know. I think I might have heard of him in the past. Now my question is, what are, what are you all doing up here? And you there, you, uh, you look a little pale, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I've been better for wear, but... He's scared of red. Oh, I, he, he like hides his hides his collar a bit, <laughs> brings around his jacket. Is that is that so? No. Yeah. Thank you for fixing that. Now I'm not scared. <laughs> hey, anything for a friend of the boss? Well, we're we're here for business and pleasure. <laughs> And well, I, I, I guess <laughs> I guess Sawyer's here for that. Um, now we're just we're just you know standard typical adventure fair. Uh, travel the world, see the sights, grab the goods, cure cancer, the baddies. Uh, occasionally cure cancer, you know stuff you normally do as an adventurer. Did you ever adventure? Or was it always just the criminal life for you? Well, uh, yeah, I wasn't always a part of the, the tale. I, in fact, we, um, we're, we're kind of trying to, I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, get in good with them. Trying to get a good, good spot in the rankings, right? We're a little bit lowly and, uh, only joined about, um, well, a while ago. Do criminals get good benefits? They do if you're high up enough in the ranks. They don't call yeah. them gold in tail for no reason. Well, thank you for the information. Uh, yeah, I don't really have much more to ask you, I guess. And uh, here, thanks. Yeah, he, uh, he pulls off his hat and um. Brings out a sack from from under it. It's humble, but I hope it'll, it'll mend things between us. And he hands it out. Fenro, you got first dibs on this. How much is it? You're not sure, or does Fenro <laughs> ask? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's about um twenty gold pieces in that that there sack. I now know how much that is worth. It's a, it's a pretty penny, but I don't want no, I want no bad blood between us. All right, somebody like keep an it's eye nice. on him. I'm checking. <laughs> I'm I'm still looking at him with a uh, across. I, I look head. inside. He eyes you, Sawyer. And, like his grin seems a bit forced when his eyes turn towards you. 
Hey, <laughs> so I, I I smile back, but in like a like a hospital like a friendly way. Hats. Let's <laughs> just, let's just do misunderstanding. Let's do a little <laughs> chitsy witsy. All right. Um. Hey, uh, you you said uh. What, what it's that? a chat, you dumb shit. Uh, anyway, you dumb um, shitsy witsy. Uh, as okay. I was saying, uh. So you just recently started working here. Is that what you were saying a second ago? Relatively. All right. What's relatively for you? How how long you been trying around? I want to know the exact dates. Not the exact dates, but if you could give me a month, day, years, decade sort of ballpark. Right. Let on Centuries even. A little under a year. All right. Good to know, good to know. And how long did it take someone as, you know, just amazingly skilled as yourself to get up as high as you are to know in the boss's name? More <laughs> rap, you know. Well, you see, I, I didn't... I, I wasn't exactly told the boss's name. But don't I don't know. know. Espionage on the espioneers, I understand. Well, sure, if you're gonna get in with anybody, it's good to know the employer. Just in case. Is the employer hey, I you? understand that entirely. I will say, though, uh... Do be careful. It, it, it'd be a real shame for someone... With actual talents to, you know, end up dead in the gutter. But that's kind of like your expectancy working with a group like the Golden Tail. You know, most major crime organizations have a uh, life expectancy that skews extremely low because of the fact that you're expendable up until you're at a point where your name is no longer out there. Just something to consider because, you know, you just got into this from what you're saying. You're not exactly what I would call a spring chicken. Maybe this is just the exit strategy, midlife crisis you got going on, but I won't put too much stock in staying around, especially, you know, with a group like that. But hey, hopefully the money's worth it for you, pal. Might want to work on that stealth, though, if you're working in a thieves' guild. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, that was a bit of an off night. But I'll, I'll take your words and take them to heart. Thank you, Peggy. Thanks. Well, that, uh, that gold smooth thing's over. Am I, am I good to go? Was it, was the, it, was the it all? Bo, I'm, I'm talking to him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Fender, was it all Fender besides. Was, it, was there 20 gold in there? Oh, yeah, uh, did you take it? Yeah, yeah, I took it and I looked inside to try, uh, to make sure it's you, all good. Yeah, you looked through... He was good on his word there. There's there's 20 gold. Yeah, this will this will help smooth things over. <clears throat> Just uh don't tell anybody that like, you know, I'm around or anything like that. You want me yeah, don't keep, don't uh... tell nobody about me either. Uh, I've just I heard the name of Eustace Curtis. I uh, I don't think we have any relation. Just a coincidence, right? Right. Roll me deception. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there you go. Definitely roll me deception there. Oh. He believes that <laughs> shit. Uh, he, he, oh, says, he, he says exactly what I did there. He goes, right. And with his cadence and how he speaks, it's you, you think for a second, oh man, he's being sarcastic, but he, he gets what, what I'm saying. But then you, you think about it for a second, and with your insight, like with your ability to you know, read people, you, you think that he, he's actually, he actually meant that. And he says, like, that was just his affirmation. <laughs> yeah. 
by the way, uh, Baggy's gonna whisper into Fenro's head uh, via the tel telepathic token. Hey, uh, Fenro, can I ha can I have that S the little little straw back? I got I got an idea. Sure, hands it back. All right, Baggy's gonna go over, sort of walk around. Give him a pat on the back sort of deal, like, well, it's nice meeting you. Stay out of trouble. And uh, then walk back. And while she's doing the pat on the back, she's trying to slide a hand, slip the uh, sliver from the scarf onto him, onto his person. All right, hit me with that slide of hand. You got it, which I have passive... Passage. Passage. Passive advantage on because of cloud rune all right of passage and what is with oh yeah <laughs> oh, i got advantage again. advantage <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> thing again. Have advantage. <laughs> oh, God, i don't know what you would do without that <laughs> yeah, i know right i'm sorry I, um I will roll for it though. It won't be an automatic fail or not. Uh, does my does my does my crossbow be important at Adam come over anything? God. Okay. Jeez. Never mind. That's oh, guys. by one. By one. Guys, guys uh, I got so a request. It, you successfully What's do up, it. Abode? Can Fenro roll for me instead? <laughs> I mean can Coleman roll for me instead of Jenny? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give I'll give Fenro um Give, uh, yeah, you can in. you can take it out from me. And I'll still leave it on for you if <laughs> know, if if, if uh, Coleman is not quick enough on the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever <laughs> gets there first, he is. Uh, like anyway, that, <laughs> we're just all trying to race to keep a Bodie's rolls one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Don't worry, uh, so see, I slipped it onto that. his person. Now, say like the, the way this would read is, um, you know, he he's kind of slowly, subtly like backing up, um, and you walk towards him, and he, you know, he kind of flinches a bit uh, before, you know, relaxing a bit as as you come around and pat him on the, I guess like the upper back. The, yeah, you know, yeah uh, sort of like a <laughs> little bit above the pants pocket type range is what I'm talking. <laughs> Good deal. I'm on the ass. Uh, and he's you know, a little confused, but he's like, you know, he looks down at you and gives you that same candid smile and didn't seem to notice um, the uh, the slip of um, of the <laughs> rune, but it did find it a bit odd. He goes, oh. all right. All good then, all good. Yep, you're all good. Have fun. Alright. Be seeing ya. See ya. Now you're just gonna head back. What? Alright, good deal. Uh, so... With it slipped on him, though, and him back to his group, pretty much as soon as I'm back in the tent, I'm popping Eerie Token's second feature, which I don't think I've ever used. Yo. Remote viewing. If you are within 10 miles of the token, you can enter a trance as an action. The trance lasts for one minute, but it ends early if you dismiss it. During this trance, you can see and hear from the token as if you were located where it is. Wait, do we do we know you're doing that, or are so you just I'm, I'm, going I'm, to a daze? I'd let Finro know I'm about to about to do some spying and then pop that. So I'm gonna listen in on what they gotta say. That's <laughs> get you, it's it's one minute though, right? You... One whole minute. I get one minute of listening in, and then it just harmlessly evaporates. This is as soon token. as you get back into the tent. Yeah, basically. And it's instant. Yes, it's an instant cast. Well, one action, so it'd be, yeah. Looks right, good deal. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to basically spy and listen in on anything they might talk about immediately after that discussion. All right. <laughs> you 
you hear um roll me I do want to make this into a bit of a roll. Uh roll me essentially like a luck roll, so a flat D twenty, and then also a perception. Okay, ten on the flat and then for the perception in a row. fourteen. That was three tens in a row, and then a fourteen. <laughs> Wild stuff. Um, all right, good deal. Uh, so you you catch uh, a number of things. It's um, you don't catch you know their whole conversation, but you come in you know part way through. You hear um, you hear him say that uh, you know talk about how he <laughs> freaking tripped <laughs> like and messed everything up. You see. Uh, this guy especially, like, walks up and, like, smacks his forehead, um, you know, yells at him a bit, and he, you know, he goes, hey, 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 come on, come on, is that really necessary? Listen, this'll, this'll complicate things, but I mean, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, there's no way they're going where we're going, right? Right? Um, and you see, you know, this one kind of steps forward a bit and goes, we can't know that for sure. Well, I mean, uh, I guess there's one way to find out in, in there. <laughs> they seem like nice enough folk. I, I just hope we don't cross paths again. And hey, not a word of this to the boss, right? We uh, keep this down low. This could compromise our... Uh, well, our or ambitions. <laughs> you know, you dumbasses get back to sleep. We got somewhere to be. Um, that's that's about where it cuts. He's gonna basically pop out of it, tell Fenro, uh, <laughs> hey, just a couple heads up. One, we may be seeing them again. Two, they ain't telling you to snuff them. I think they're too embarrassed about the whole flubbing of it to really want to bring any of it up. So, should be in the clicker there. Well, anyway, made, good night. We should have made them <laughs> pick the tent. Now there's a huge breeze. <laughs> if it's you're you're, a, you're an you artificer. It? Fix it. <laughs> yeah, you're the artificer. Wait, Aki, can I? Yeah. Well, I know I can. I mean, no, no, sorry. I, I more meant. I more meant. Uh, does mending work on this? I mean, it would. It's non-magical. I would say, yeah, because uh, the, the thing is, you'd have to do it in casts, but it's a cantrip. And yeah. like the way this is built, um, it's you know, it's essentially supports with the uh, you know, a hide, a thick hide. So the the places that you would mainly need to mend are just the parts where it kind of broke off. On the actual supports, yeah. so it's it's not that hard to put back together. Yeah, so you can knock I, it I'm out in like that. fifteen minutes. Fifteen, damn. Yeah, no. I mean, real. it's wouldn't be tough. One minute per cast. And... Pum 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 pum. Right. I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah, easy enough. Snurts mending. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> The next thing that occurs, and the reason why I was adamant about seeing where you guys landed, not only the ads thing, but <sighs> Sawyer, huh? I need you to come to the box of stupid with me. Uh, 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 come on, me, trouble. Am I in trouble? You're not in trouble, but I need to explain what occurs to Sawyer in the night. As you are attempting to fall back to sleep, right, um, that hollow, pale feeling in your gut, you remember it, right? The one from drinking the thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It had faded right after the 10-minute duration was up. Now, as you're trying to fall back asleep, it comes back way stronger. And at first, you think to yourself, ah, it'll pass, like, 
it's a bit uncomfortable, but it'll be fine. And as you do, you know, stubbornly get yourself to drift off, you realize that you're not so much drifting off into sleep as your consciousness is uh, fading, or ra- rather you're, you're kind of blacking out, rather. The pangs of hunger and emptiness in your stomach get more major. And suddenly, everything goes black. And then a bright, pale white goes black, and then it completely whites out. You can't see anything. It's, everything's blank. Is it, are the others in the tent seeing this at all? We're about to go back and... This is what you experienced. Okay. We're about to go back and, and see what they experienced. So okay. come on. Come on back. Right. Okay. Oh, it's, so, it's just so nice. It's so But what about you. your neck? And uh, your crack. Your crack. <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> Well, Maybe a little I pussy mean, action in there, Kegel your, work. Your crap <laughs> grew up to your neck, so it technically does Dude, kind of. The work fact that Kegels exist <laughs> fucking kills me. It destroys me. Dude, like that I, what exists? I, I just, Kegels. You know what doing pussy exercise. Dude, it. We were gone for a minute. It makes me <laughs> deceased. <laughs> you can, you can do what Kegels happened? Give me a pussy. <laughs> Oh, oh, my God. I love Nick's just really genuine. We were gone for a minute. <laughs> Come on. I was here the oh. whole time and I don't know how we got here. <laughs> Eagles couldn't be done with your dick, by the way. Just want to don't know. tell me that. Oh. I don't want to fucking know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to fuck. I've done Kegel exercise before, just letting you know. So. <laughs> Uh, Nick, <laughs> I, I, I've just explained what what occurred so to uh, Nick's character like Sawyer. Some blood circulation right. on your neck. And, uh, Tony, <laughs> you're done, mm-hmm. bud. And <laughs> now we are uh, we're about to see what happens uh, within the tent. All right, let's let's check a look. I need you, uh, Baggy and Fenro, to roll. Perception. Oh, let's go. Let's go. I love my rolls tonight. They're so good, bro. Yes, I, oh, what did I tell bad. you? <laughs> Finro's a perceptive motherfucker. <laughs> Golly. It comes with being able to see through your entire body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is no Honestly. such thing as a blind spot. Oof. Uh, why? Uh. Oh wait! <gasps> That's right. <laughs> what? Sorry, something I. Okay, snap. Okay, you you guys both still saw it. Um, yeah, and it's it's a tough thing to miss. You guys are awoken by a growl. Right at first, you you awaken and you're like, "What the heck is that?" Freaking Sawyer's stomach? Is it, is it just growling a bunch? Like, I know he drank Sawyer, that elixir, you, you mean but... like a sandwich or something, bud? Right, right. But then you realize, as it turns into a, more of a snarl, <laughs> into a deep, deep growl. Um, and then, uh, emerging from... Where Sawyer was sleeping, this creature emerges, bursts uh, out of the tent, and attempts to uh-huh. leap towards Doggy. the forest. Uh, you, Fenro, you do have an attack of opportunity if you wish to where, take it. Where am I? I do not. Wow, you could have grappled. You could have wrestled that. <laughs> and it barrels... Uh, away. And now it's a barrel. <laughs> so, so, uh... Sawyer is nowhere to be Mitch, found. Mitch, check message. Finro, I... 
Do you uh, think that was, was Sawyer or it had him? Uh, and do we need now need to go on a midnight fucking rescue quest? I mean, it didn't exactly look like Sawyer, but it did. Yeah, run off. I know, but he was fucking trying lots of shit last night, right? We didn't believe Yoshi. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I was. I was just flipping uh, horizontally. I accidentally. Uh, <laughs> interdimensionally flipped. <laughs> let's try to. Uh, let's get everybody else and see if any of them saw anything. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely something we need to like gra rally the troops for. Oh, boy, uh, so I'll get. I'll get fine. And you get right. George. George is gonna do what I taught him to do when I leave. And he's just going to start making glass because he misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't that's, specify that's anything besides you being gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, fine. You, you, so? you happen to see um you see? big, like, wolfman type thing just run out back towards the woods? Or Sawyer, either? Well, I don't think so. I was just trying to see just now. All right, well, no time for that. Uh, either Sawyer is a werewolf or he got eaten by one. Uh, or he went out to take a piss and he'll be back in a second and a werewolf just came crashing through the tent. I mean, there's there's a few options there, but it's, it's one of those. I mean, I'm at least assuming it's a werewolf. I ain't never seen one in real life, but... Looks uh, like what I've heard him out. We'll need some federal perception. We should probably check it out. Federal perception. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I meant fine. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Coleman. <laughs> yeah, one sec. <laughs> fine when perception. <laughs> <laughs> Is Rule 20 See, broken? I told you, I told you. Is Rule 20 you. broken oh I honestly think Fenro deserves advantage. Loaded dice. <laughs> Loaded <laughs> dice. <laughs> the Just power of what fire... Um, it's only perception. <laughs> no, you know what it is? My luck plus your luck, because we both roll really well mm. along the time combined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 20. Each 20 is from us. <laughs> That's a 50, baby. Oh. It's a yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you see all. Yeah. I was very perceptive. Of you. All. <laughs> you see all, but understand none. How very perceptive of you. Yeah, not <laughs> only did uh fine, not only did you see this creature emerge, um, it, it immediately awoke you, uh, and you were able to catch uh the horns, right, of this creature, of this massive beast, that the horns looked, though at a varying shade, they looked a lot like Sawyer's. That's what we can ask that. <laughs> As it barreled into the brush in the forest. Did it look like a robot? What? Do it look like a werewolf from why I would know about werewolves, I guess, in my studies? Uh, roll me history. Or, okay. Well, Coleman? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, asking, you're asking him, and I'm not used to it being me right now. Right, let me, so let you me should let me roll. roll. I'd, I'd, I'd always get the rolls in. Yeah. I mean, it's whoever does it first. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a 12. A oh, double 12, is it? No, it's a 12 and a 22 with advantage. Yeah. Well, you're confirmed barrel? True. <laughs> Dude, he was barreling, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm a He's barrel. He's confirmed a barrel. I'm B-barrel. Shit. I like that Pokemon. Markiplier's most fuckable Pokemon. <laughs> you keep oh. bringing this up. No, that was his Smasher Pastelus. It's not like he went out of his way. He just like said he... that he would smash him. Yeah. 
He, he's he right. Did him to all. But he did Dude, all I learned different. is that he really, really likes birds. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he put the flowers <laughs> down as a. Snack. It was all the flowers, all the plants, and all birds. And, and like, low punny. Yeah, and that one rabbit. Uh, is that fine? Yeah, man. Or Fenros? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. History. Okay. You um. You've read about werewolves. This one looks a bit bigger. You're not entirely sure what that means. Um, perhaps this land, specifically this world that you've traveled to, has uh, maybe I don't know something different. But you do know. So with with a twelve, uh, I would say you you know it is yes definitely what's known as a dire wolf in this world. Um, but you're you're unsure as to why it's so big. Was that spelled like the god? Yes. Okay, of course. Ah. I, I just had to know. Mm -hmm. I like that. I was Heck yeah. Say. Glad you inferred it. That's really smart. Uh, you, you were like, in this world, and I was like, why would it be called that in this world? That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, I guess, pass on the information to Baggy on what I saw. I think this is Sawyer. Probably. Of course. Alright, well, pick him up. We got a ad nighttime adventure ride. Ah. Uh. You ready to go? We gotta go chase down Sawyer. What did it... What what did he what did he do? Apparently he's changed forms, probably just drinking things nonstop, catching up with them. Let's go find out what's going on over there. That sounds rough. I mean, I guess you know what you're right. We could just wait this out. I mean, you think he's gonna stay that way? You know what? Probably not. It might just be a nighttime thing. Yeah, well, it might be better to go try to find him in the morning when there's daylight. I'm glad I have such good friends. <laughs> I say this, I say this with having 300 feet of dark vision, but, you know, I don't know. It's nice. You know, you know what, I, actually, we can't see. It's very dark. That's, that's a fi fair point, you know? Yeah, he's fading Come into on, the brush. You can still see him slightly, <laughs> but uh, he's moving <laughs> fast. <laughs> Are we all fading into the brush? True. <laughs> <laughs> no. You guys are you know, uh, on campfires. Look, the tent's broken again. We gotta. I don't want to fix that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> There's Finro only one makes... person who could do that pretty easily. Finro makes a good point. Unless fine, unless you or Rod got Minden, we gotta uh, go find him. I think I know Minden. Uh. Oh, wait, do you know Mending? <laughs> I know Mending, dog. I'll fix it for you. <laughs> I'm just gonna head back to sleep. <laughs> I got you, man. Right, cool. Never mind, we can chase him in the morning. <laughs> man, I just know my party members will save me. Now I'm gonna go fix your tin real quick, hold on. What the fuck? Like, look which way he went, make sure, you know, he's alright, find his way back, you know. Uh, path or something. Alright. I'm sure he's got it, but, you know. Hey, Fenro, I'm coming with you. Baggy climbs onto Fenro's back. Oh. I guess I'll come with. Alright, there's some trees. Oh, okay, coming? I guess I guess we're going. Well, yeah. Nah, honestly, as much <laughs> as I'd like to wait till morning. What if he dies? Yeah. Then we we just yeah. That's oh. the thing. I don't Are we gonna be able to stop it? Are we gonna be able to stop it? You guys waited oh, yeah. long enough to the point where I need one of you, whoever's leading this journey, to make a survival check to try to 
keep up with the tracks. Um, I, I think Fan are bleeding. Maggie's on top. Well, <laughs> who was that um, for? No. That was you. Uh, Thank God, Fendor's not leading. Wow. All right. Oh, oh, I, I think um, Abodi so. said he was leading, but then Cole yeah. rolled. And, Quick but time event fine. No, so uh, here, I'll, I'll roll for fine, just so there's no ooh. confusion. That's oh, okay. a fine roll. So if, <laughs> this is a fine roll. situation. I think this might have happened before, too, where, like, Fenro... Or no, was it Baggy that did this? Yeah, no, I think this was back uh, when you guys were... Uh, going through the waste, getting back to the Bitter Duke, where like Baggy turned one direction and Fenro just like grabbed, <laughs> <laughs> grabbed her head and, and turned her in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is the exact scenario, but instead it's Fenro in Baggy shoes and Fine in Fenro shoes. So <laughs> and Fenro just immediately uh, I, starts walking in the wrong direction. No, like, Fenro, no. Out this way. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Oh, uh, Those are the things. <laughs> my bad. Uh, you know, it's a little hard to see. It's, you know, bloody night. <laughs> Baggy, pull, Baggy pulls on his hair like Ratatouille. Yeah, you saw, like, the, um... <laughs> you saw the... You saw paw prints, but they're most likely just the regular wolves. Um, Baggy sent them all the wrong way. Alright, so, let's... Through, through the brush uh, and the... Kind of dead forest you roam um moving quickly trying to keep up with these uh heavy heavy paw prints um you move through follow the tracks and find yourselves here oh no where where are we in this map by the way um, I'm gonna let you guys decide, but you guys do need to be in a group, so, you know, whichever okay. direction you decide you, you show up at, everybody shows there. I'm guessing from we above. follow the road, so... From above. <laughs> Word? Yeah, bottom That's left. It's viable. Bottom left? Alright. I'm, I'm good with bottom left. Well, like, bottom left road, Rod. Oh. What? There we go. Alright, and as this dire oh, wolf <laughs> tears into this creature that he's caught, uh, lets out a loud howl to the night sky. Nick? Uh... Ah. Very nice. And I need everybody to roll initiative. Is that Gosh, a clue? Darn it. Is that he a just clue says, me? Hey. Yep. Howlin is trademark of old Howler. You need to pay a royalty fee. Wait, Damn. how do I do initiative on this sheet? Uh, click the token and hit the initiative button. Mm -hmm. It's on, uh, it's on the character sheet, off to the right That's, of armor class. Uh, it's a right little button. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, in it. Yeah. They're like British. I got you a 17 <laughs> fine one. Oh, yeah, no, it's Oh, in that, it, was, that was, that yeah, was... I, I accidentally... Uh, Mitch, did you see my know. message, by the way? My God, I updated it for you. Um, I'm at five, oh. baby. <laughs> Do I? I'm gonna rule no on that one. Yeah, I feel like that would make sense. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, I, no, it would be it would be badass. I did badass. think about that. I did think about that, but <laughs> ruling no on that one. All right, let me um, start the order here. As the wolf goes first. Of Wall Street? Uh oh. Do wolf? I just? <laughs> no, of Boreal Street. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Star Wolf. I'm gonna. Liquid Mission Road. I'm gonna jump down here, and uh. Wait, hold on. Uh, what? this. As you smell something to fill the pale hollowness within you. Ooh, good, good. Do you catch him in that cone? 15 foot? Yeah. I should. Or wait. 
I probably should have measured that. Is that not? <laughs> I, I, Yoshi's you, I mean, I have, I have enough speed uh -huh. to go to still go to where it does hit. Fifteen foot cone oh. would get you oh. here. Okay. Is that? Did that hit all you? That hits Rod, and fine, but not me or Finn. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait one second. Let me, Hold let up. me, let me do, let me do the measurement. I got you. So I started there. Yeah, so I can I can go over to you guys with my seed. So that would um, catch him. Oh, yeah. is that oh wait, is that fifteen? It's, it's space like, twenty. By the way, did we level? And it's one block two. No, we haven't leveled up yet. Okay, there. That from tip to tip is was one block too large. Like you gotta work. Oh my god. There you go. <laughs> At the moment, you're at 20. It's, there you go. Is that good? Okay. So no. Then, about no. There. It's, there you go. That's that's okay. about right. Sorry, thank you. So then, okay, so if I do that, I am back here. Or no, I'm not. I'm here. I, I hit all three. Wherever it hits all three, I'm here. We shouldn't <laughs> have helped them. That's all I'm learning. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Oh, wait, is, wait, is Fenro? Is Baggy still on top of Fenro? Yeah, yeah. I haven't had a chance okay. to get out yet. You're first. Right, everybody, <laughs> make me a dexterity saving throw. And you can go ahead and roll me that damage, dear wolf. Hmm. First oh, one is Fenro. Second one yeah, is. Yeah, because it's uh, plus two. Oh, plus six. Oh my god. Ooh, not bad. Average damage. Noise, mm -hmm. noise. 18, uh, yeah, that's literally the thing they have as the example. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. No oh, I got a nat 1. <laughs> I guess that's kind of par for the course. You're on top of Fenro, who failed the dex check. I mean, it's also par for the course for my consistent bad rolls. I think I've had 1 over 10 today. Yeah. Literally, the 10s weren't even 10s, because they were 10s or 8 plus 2s. Oof, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah baby. The bad luck is back in town. Well, you did roll the like twelve on. So, so, so Rod and so yeah. Rod and Finewin are good. Fenro and Baggy. Well, they still they still take nine damage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Fenro and Baggy take eighteen. Exactly. I, I got Fine's health count, Cole. As this, uh, as it, you know, leaps from the cliffside, uh, and as it's landing. Skidding across uh, the icy path, it breathes out this uh, immense cold blast from its lungs, like the wolf tearing down the eyes of the three. At least that's the recharge, so we don't have to worry about it really. Like the wolf of Wall Street. I got hit, right? <laughs> um, yeah. You did. I, got, I took care of your health. Yeah. You're at 22. Um... And uh, I oh, 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 I know what you're thinking, yeah. Bodhi. Do you want to use it? Yeah. Or my yeah, phone. You. Wait, wait. Before, before Nick does anything else, a Bodhi gets to cast Hellish Rebuke as a reaction yep. because of his Tiefling background. Ooh. Yeah, uh, nice. which you this do not somebody. have set up in the uh, character sheet. Yeah, because so, yeah, I, I haven't can, set it up. I, I actually you. have a. It just you have someone uh, it's just nice you that you roll. That has uh, that, that I could roll. I think um, it's the dice roll, like a 2d8. I, I forgot what it's the I, 2 days yeah, out of my uh, Hellish Rebuke as a spell is target makes a dex save or take 2d10. Uh, 2D10 and the okay. saving number is going to be. Uh, I believe. Let me see what it says for. Um, I think it's for charisma spell. That's that would be my guess. Let me see. At least for tieflings. What are you a specific type of tiefling? Uh, no. Uh, so wait, I guess charisma is the casting. So it's yeah. a uh, what a uh, a ten total, ten DC, because it'd be eight plus proficiency and then oh. plus charisma, but your charisma zero. So what what am I rolling? Uh, oh, nothing. Oh, yeah, actually, a dex save. save. Dex okay. save. Okay. Is it DC, DC 10? 12? DC 10. DC 10. Uh, but it would be half as much still because it's a leveled spell. Alright, roll me. I remember right. Uh, you already did? 
No, you remember. You oh, you want me to? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd rather you roll it. I can do that. Yeah. So how, or, how much? Okay. So how how much damage do I take? More about oh, time out. Oh, okay. Also, did uh uh you take uh, <laughs> half eight. of that? So is it gonna be seven or eight? Eight. Good stuff. You dig the higher. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So eight damage. Also, uh, <laughs> it's I fine. Can... Get a full rest because I saw only one spell slot. Fine's had his full rest since he hasn't been in the game and able to update the sheet in a while, but yeah. he's had several full rests. Okay. Yeah. So those and are those are full against, and yeah. this isn't yeah. this isn't a spell like that because it's something. He gets yeah, I know from. it wasn't, but I just wanted to make sure. Yep. Uh, <laughs> right all right. Oh yeah, um, Midge, for my bonus, do I have any sense of, uh, consciousness at all for this? You do not. Like, even, like, a sliver? Okay, so I can't try to fight it. You're full, no, you're full dire wolf mode. Okay. At least at, uh, at the current time, yeah. Okay, uh -huh. then that, that's my turn. Oh, you end your turn, is that what I heard? Mm-hmm. Um, you know <laughs> what, I'm gonna keep my turn up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> in <Indefinitely. laughs> Stone Rune, baby! I do, I do, Stone I do, I do, Rune! Here. Roll me that wisdom save! Ooh. That's fair. Go ahead. That. Oh, and that sheet doesn't have, like, saves, so you would essentially just roll yeah. wisdom. A wisdom check. Do I- wait, do- do I get any proficiencies in any saves? Because mm. isn't that a normal thing? Or uh, that only for not, as a not necessarily. Oh, All right. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Fifteen. Fifteen just barely beats it. Ooh. Whew. Why is a fucking Ooh. wolf? Oh, that, that was alive? a close one. <laughs> it's uh. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine's turn. Oh, it's my turn. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do because uh, I know for, I think I know for a fact, or at least pretty sure that this is Sawyer, so I don't know if I want to tell him. Um, so I'm not going to do some fucking old bow OP shit <laughs> on him. <laughs> no, don't oath bow him because then that, if you oath bow him, you can't use it on someone else. Because I don't think we're well, planning on killing them, but still. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Beat the so shit out gonna... of them, though. Just Beat the shit you. out of them 100%. Just kill, so just kill Sawyer, continue on the adventure. <laughs> hey, you, you were the one that was you... pushing for us to not just fix the tent, so this is on you. <laughs> we could have waited it out. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could... Wait, Jamie, can you open up my sheet? <laughs> yeah, here you go. Uh, Let's see what I got. Um, yeah. Alright. I had it pop down a separate window, but um, give me a second and I can reopen it. There you go. Okay. I want to look at my spells, actually, because I don't even remember what spells I got. <laughs> Alright, so what you got, you got speak with animals. I don't know why the information. Hunter's Mark. Okay. No, not cast. Uh, a snare, protection from good and evil. Actually, how, how long does snare take to uh, uh, cast? cast? It's one minute. Okay, can't do that. So, it, currently in combat, the only one you really have that's anywhere... Uh, no, oh. I mean... If this was Ooh. an aberration, celestial, fae, fiend, elemental, or undead, you could yeah. help someone else and all. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna... You could speak with it. It's an animal. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, think... actually. A Bodhi can I do been... that? A Bodhi can, can speak that. with animals. Why hasn't a Bodhi spoken to Blue Yoshi so he could tell me how much he loves me? Did I not? I, I feel like I used Blue the spell Yoshi's before like, to, to please, something, but just not Blue Yoshi. Somebody else yeah. take care of me. He's abusive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, All he does is make me I make never... glass. What he put Sawyer, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, 
I'm gonna. I might actually. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll cast speak with the animals. <laughs> it's free. It's a free spell. Cause I think. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, one yeah, grenade a ranger. Yeah. What, what, so. What do I say? I, I, yeah. I used two spells without spending a spell slot. Funny. Can I say hey, fine? When how's it going? <laughs> that would be funny. I'm sure if, if, if you were actually beast. conscious and did this, I think Baggy might actually just kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even be a, oh, let's knock him out and give him to safety. It'd be like, a, oh, he just actively did half my health and damage. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> and he knew what he was doing. All right, so I'm, technically I'm playing. a werewolf is an animal. Um, I would say, in this instance, when you cast that, what do you say? What do you say to the, to the beast? I just say, Sawyer, are you there? Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sawyer? <laughs> um, your mind is uh, filled with symbols of the moon that flash and seem to overwhelm your mind. You hear snarling and the gnashing of teeth. And I would say I need some kind of roll. Roll me. What would this be? It's like a reaching out to a party member, a friend. This would be charisma, persuasion. some kind of charisma, or, persuasion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Friendship. Roll me some roll persuasion. for, roll for friendship. Indeed. Yeah. Genuinely. Right, call. Roll for friendship. Call on find one sheet. Call roll for friendship at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> persuasion. Yeah. I'm gonna be transparent here. I did not take speak with animals into account. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> it's so that's actually gold. Holy shit! Wait, so, wait, so is he is he with a disadvantage or is he not? No, no, that was okay. So okay. No disadvantage okay. was a joke because, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, um, you're a loner, I, I Sawyer. Once it Are gets we back to Sawyer's <laughs> turn, you have given him. A chance to make a roll for regaining, Ooh. regaining some semblance of self. Oh, pause. Let's fucking go. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll also, because uh, I still have my bonus action, I'll Hunter's Mark with the case. And I would say, like, the way that, uh, the way that it worked is as these, you know, symbols are flooding your mind, um, you essentially break through one of the moons um, with your words uh, and seem to actually get into the mind of the beast. It was almost just hovering right you know, at the ridge of the nose, right, right between the eyes until finally you push, push through. Then yeah, and I'll, I'll try to back the fuck out as well, by the way. Get as far away from him as I can. <laughs> okay, right. yeah, use your movement. So, you got, what does that mean? You can go all the way to the bottom corner of the map, or if you want to run up. Which which direction uh, do you want to go for? Uh, like, bottom right, like 30 feet away, maybe. Alright, so, yay-ish? Yeah. Boink. There you go. You That's mean? Finn Rowan? It's time to Finn Rowan the boat. That's right, baby. Uh. <laughs> was that your was that your ship nickname? Yeah. Oh, here, yeah. <laughs> right. Been rowing the boat, baggy. Uh, Wheel. Was it we've touched the boat? Yeah. <laughs> A fishing rod. <laughs> fine waters <laughs> for <one>. sailing. <laughs> Evan Sawyer in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's the, the best boat. one, actually. <laughs> That's a um, body. <laughs> a body is. I mean, if it was yeah, a body. Yeah, no, no, that's exactly what I was going for. Yeah, a body. 
Alright. What you doing, Finny Row? I'm thinking. Thinking, I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking. Alright. Uh, I am going to cast her wounds on Baggy. Okay. Go ahead, you. Eight whole oh, HP. Wow. Ow! I fucking stabbed myself in the tit on accident. Banner, what the fuck? You were supposed then, to heal her. <laughs> and then, uh, stealing word on myself. Yo. The healer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a. That's cool and all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool move. Actively, we took more damage than you, Rod. Shush. Yeah, we took double what you took, so... <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. I, I understand. <laughs> and then, right. uh... I am going to... move just a bit away. Skippy, shut funny. the fuck up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of your shit, man. <laughs> I'm done. Let's keep him playing D and D right now. <laughs> Bro, I right. love that guy. Abodi, you gotta come out here so you can meet him, shake his hand. I, I'm moving yeah. just straight up. Straight up. And Baggy, Baggy is on condition. Baggy, would Baggy go is on you. my shoulders. <sighs> But that, actually, I Unless know. you wanna, uh, you know, flip off his back or something. I I will if I'm allowed to. You are, yeah. Okay, okay. Can, then yeah. It's gonna be a flipping off his though. back? Yeah. That's kinda yeah, mean. Why are you flipping him off? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Fender, are you gonna take that? Skippy no. told me to do it, I'm sorry. And this is, uh, this is your one, uh, granted reminder that you do have free actions to check on things. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that, and I just... I don't know if there's anything I want to check. Um... It can be anything from, right, hit points, like, it can be mechanical stuff, or it can be, yeah, like, insight and, you know, perception. Yeah. Stuff that you want to figure out about the, the battle. Um, so I got a bunch of rations. Would any of those be meat? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. I'm just noting that for the next turn. Alright. Good stuff. Alright, man. Go I'm in a... They bit in gold. Yeah. Almost. So what I'm gonna do... Shoot. Did I mispronounce it wrong? I'm sorry. There's a hard name. I'm not... It's, it's Portuguese. Mm. Ew! Ew! Yeah. So anyway... I'm gonna. So anyway, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna use my free action to ask how how this creature is doing. You know. You talk to animals too. No. <laughs> oh. Word. Um. I'm gonna bark. Yeah. Wait. What do you hear when, I, when he barks? Because I can't understand. <laughs> um. <laughs> There's something along the lines of, uh, it's, it comes through, you know, like, speaking with an animal, you still hear their growls, right? And all of that? Yeah. It simply comes through as, like, you know, you're able to interpret it, essentially. And the, the sense that you get from this is hunger, rage, and, uh, an uncontrolled fury. Or, or wrath. Dude, that sounds like that dog needs a therapist. That sounds like <laughs> Sawyer, all right. <laughs> so dude, dude. Pass, pass anyway, Sawyer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use inflict wounds at uh, <laughs> second level. Just forget it. One of the this, most bro. powerful what? spells in the game. I'm gonna use it on this there's dog. A spell, there's a yes. spell just called Inflict Wounds. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, the opposite end of Guess what it does. It's insane. And it just does that. 
It's it's yeah. very uh, powerful. At second level, that's is, what four D ten. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah, it's four D ten. Oh my god! Imagine if Fenro did the double thing, double damage. You can cast it at second level already. Yeah. Yeah. Because cold yeah. casters already have second level. You're oh you're my half. God. So there you go. You get a oh, oh, spell attack. So you got to make the melee spell attack, which is just an attack with your wisdom plus proficiency. So that'd be a d20 plus whatever your whiz is plus two. Uh, on a hit, spell yes. save DC. Wait, what's the what? Oh, I have right here. What? There... Oh, oh, did I you already? Have... No, the attack, like a d20, not the spell save DC. D20. Spell yeah, save DC is if it had a roll. Yeah, this is okay. A, so like, this isn't just twenty four. Okay, so... but Wait. if it hits, it's twenty four damage. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There you go. So it's a twenty one to hit with twenty four damage. That's okay. Insane. That definitely That's hits. <laughs> so Please yeah. Go. So he just taps you. And you take 24 damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> As you walk up, and essentially, like, you just inflict these. Uh, I mean, what kind of wounds are you inflicting? Are you just, like, tearing open its stomach? Emotional. Are you? Are you <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I'm just severely hurting this this dog's feelings, man. Sleep apnea. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> removing its serotonin receptors. <laughs> so it feels <laughs> nothing. Sleep. Like you hear the the slicing, and you start to see the uh, the white uh, the white fur begin to go red, almost all throughout. You know, in, in spots. Red out of anger. Yes. Out of sadness. <laughs> I, I made you tears. a nihilist. Why, why? Why does everybody in my party do more damage than I do? I mean, Not me. Dang good roll. You do. That's the thing. You've done uh, more damage. I'm point out that I've done like what one other spell that actually hit. Game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so also, far, you're complaining I'm about doing. Accurate. You're complaining about doing less damage than everybody else. The last combat we had with you, you sat talking to a snail for the entire time. Yeah. So like, maybe you could have rolled a good attack. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I can't argue with that. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, it's your turn. Hey, hey, I rode damn well, and I got that snail. Maggie, go, right. go. Yep, 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 saw yep. Rod walk up, uh, poke, yeah, but... <laughs> poke, poke the wolf, and cause it to erupt in blood. Mm -mm. Alright. Uh, step one, Dogs walk up to dog. Out. Step two, mm -hmm. attack dog. dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 20 to hit for three damage. Yeah, Baggy does so much more damage than you, that Sawyer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Baggy, Baggy here did zero damage. And then... Because I am immune to slashing damage. From non-magical attacks. Yeah, what kind of, what kind of immunity is that? <laughs> I'm immune to slashing damage from non-magical attacks. Nick, How does Nick, that work, canonically? Nick, you wouldn't just, like, throw that information out, all I'm saying. <laughs> oh. It's well, like, just what you brag. Like, okay, okay, everyone forget that. Everyone, everyone forget that. Run things, everyone it's, more forget like that. A, it's more of like a baggy. You, you're swinging at this creature, and it seems as though your blade is like, you hear it, chink, as though it was um. going across, like, iron. Right, it oh, seems to have my not bad. done anything and just skidded against uh, the skin. In in that case, I was joking. Of course, it's, work. it's, it's okay. Scary. It's okay. Oh, um, <laughs> it's something they probably might might have figured out at some point. It's not this early. <laughs> I mean, we probably would have figured it out when I just hit him with it and it slashed across. I think what it's coming down to is just the flavoring of it. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> letting Mitch Mitch describe <laughs> that as the DM. Uh. Anyway. Well, shit. I mean, I guess there's only really one thing to do, huh? Uh. Baggy cast hex. Uh. On Sawyer. Uh, and I ha- I hex... 
We will do uh, dexterity. So dexterity based skills are hex. And then after that, action surge swing again. And get another attacky in there. Mm-hmm. Does a 19 hit? Because if so, we Mitch, at I'm least do you... some damage because of Hex, Mitch, which deals necrotic damage. Uh, Three damage. Okay. Good stuff. Three damage there. Three whole damage. But yeah, so that's what? that's what, what I got going on now. I'm curious, what, what does the Hex look like? Because essentially, the like, the blade is just crossing against the skin, but how does the Hex, you know, get in there and cause that damage basically so it's it's as if part of the scarf because it all comes back to the scarf it's always the scarf it's the scarf you know uh is is basically imbued into the blade so when it slices a little bit of that dark hag magic oozes from the blade through sort of leaving an after effect of like poison in it which is the necrotic damage. Nice, nice. Oh, that's... Yeah, doing a little three damage, even when the sword doesn't. Alright, so, um, upon your turn, as uh, Rod and Baggy have come face to face with this beast, it looks down at the faces of its companions and Sawyer roll me a wisdom saving throw uh, this is Sawyer for, like off of on, your character okay. sheet okay I was gonna say well okay, uh, yeah got, okay you said saving mm-hmm. yeah wisdom saving throw there you go. as much as for a, for a moment right the voice of fine rings through to your mind, right? Not the mind that is uh, within this beast it seems to be controlling you. Uh, you get a smidge of clarity, right? This pale white that fills your vision flickers a bit and you see just a flash of the red fur, the cross of Baggy's sword, the light from Fenro's healing, but it fades back to the white. And you must attack. You're hungry. Uh I'm I'm pissed at Rod. Yeah. So I'm a Me I'm a too, dude. man. <laughs> DC thirteen con save. Do what now? You gotta make a constitution save, Rod. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm glaring at Rod. Indeed. I have a special helmet. Does a special helmet do anything? A twilight <laughs> glare. Oh, My helmet's yeah. really cool. It, uh, it helps you with... Wait, so this is... No, it's a creature that you see. It doesn't specifically mention that they have to make eye contact. But what's the what what specifically does the helmet do? Because I remember it having some beneficial magic effect. It negates all uh, the charm effects, I believe. Oh yeah, that's not a charm. Oh yeah, no, I'm not seducing Rod here. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, charm doesn't necessarily I'm, I'm have to be seduced, but this yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it, it can it can be for my bit. And with that wink, I don't know. Yeah, you you want to seduce <laughs> Rod anyway. <laughs> So you take 3d6 cold damage and are paralyzed for one minute. That's Damn. fantastic. I take six damage, damage. The end of and your are and you fi- and you are aware that you hurt my feelings. Good. <laughs> Indeed. I would say, uh, yeah, this kind of aura emanates sharply from the beast's eyes, and though you see it through the visor of your helmet. Uh, you can't help but think about what you've done. 
how you've hurt this beast that was once your dear friend. And it paralyzes you. Or sorry, uh, were you doing anything else? Movement or otherwise? Bonus action. I think a bonus action to shed a tear. Nice. Nice. All right, fine one. Yeah. Maybe he laughs. <laughs> um, so next. wait, how how hurt does this uh, direwolf soy look? Uh, you can roll to find out. That would be uh, either that would be perception, or if you were closer, investigation. So uh, perception. Yeah, I think perception. Yeah. Yeah, I'm perception is better for thing. you. Uh, Cole, you got it, or? Yeah, sorry, oh. Skippy's causing mayhem. What the fuck is he doing? Just put him down. What am I doing? Rolling passive what? perception. <gasps> okay. All right. What the? What okay. Is... Fine, baby. It's fine. Like, Fun's back, without baby. Without you rolling it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Roll twenty is broken. We are defying the laws of. <laughs> Dude, four, four nat twenties that are yeah, two sets of perception Your rolls. Brain is breaking. Yeah, that four. happened again when Fenro did it. I don't understand. Yeah, Fenro, you're not hacking. I'm not hacking. Are you? Seeing eye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish I could roll a nat twenty. That'd be no, crazy. I'm hacking. A, a boat is gonna hacking. get back and start rolling for his own character again. It's never gonna be this good again. <laughs> So, He's just gonna outsource rolling to the rest of the party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me see. Uh, <laughs> let me see how to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 100, baby. Alright, so. Yeah, that is true. Let's see. What damage do you do with a longbow? That's 1d8 plus Here's 4. Um, yeah. You believe that two. Um, you know, two solid hits from a longbow away, like with perfect damage, right? perfectly aimed, would take it down. If arrows actually did anything. I mean, a Bodhi has literally a magic bow. He's the one person in the party that can't yeah, guarantee to hurt this motherfucker. If it, if it do... Right. It, it does do magic damage. It's so slow. It's right. a rare magic item. Very rare magic <laughs> item. It deals magic damage with its attacks. <laughs> Blessed be to reindeer kid. The uh, reindeer kid honestly fucking <laughs> blessed me. Yeah, uh, if, it's, if it's a magic item, the weapon damage is magic. I'm just shorthand yeah. reference for you. Um, uh, I'd probably yeah. I I don't want to kill him. I just want to, you know, <laughs> I guess make, if he's not going to get convinced, I'll at least knock him out. So I'm going to shoot him this round with Hunter's Mark. I have Hunter's Mark on, so. You tie the boxing glove to the end of the arrow. You fire it off. Um, yeah, right. Fun. One of us got to do it. I keep right. forgetting that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's Where, just long where's your tax uh, there? It's just long because it's the same roll. Yeah. Well, it's a 12. It's 28. 28. Uh, hold up. Is that it? Bodie, is it your birthday? No, Ten my birthday's March 4th. AC, wait, I think, but no, wait. Um, it's Mitch, natural I... armor. Ah. Uh... Uh, yeah, I already put it in the archery thing. Uh, Mitch, can I uh, can I ask you a question in Stupid Box real quick, just so I don't have to type it? Uh, I yeah. they have the uh, plus yeah, eight. Yeah. Jump on over. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm noticing that this character that the sheet is take is like has the ticks for humanoid form, but my armor class in humanoid form is higher than eleven, and it makes it sound like uh, I would have a plus one to AC based on my actual armor class. Should I be going off of this humanoid, or should I be going off my own? Because hmm. if I go off my own... I would say, okay, that makes sense. It is off of your own. Yeah, this was from just, like, 
the base werewolf essentially um well we'll yeah we'll okay. base it off of your own okay then so then hold on because i have this is your okay. natural state right without any armor i would say though yeah that's what i have to check i need to see how much my armor gives either way i still think i should not be getting hit by this yeah no so check on that and uh, change it for me we'll go ahead and jump on over okay thank you right on all right hey um, mitch right. question for you What's since abode's now gone in four nat 20s on perception does he get advantage <laughs> on this shot because it would be also what because he is uh, locked no. in as shit. <laughs> I would say um no with i would say like with this connection that you've made with speak to animals you can't help but uh think right think on your shot and this clues mm. the beast in enough to be able to dodge out of the way just in time damn it goes under his Also, arm, Nick, why are you trying to value. win the fight? <laughs> That's what he's, he's meant to. That's... I mean, that in character. I'm just trying to be in character. Yeah. That's, um, um, Otherwise, on, it I wouldn't just, be much of a challenge, right? I, I need to check. I have 11 health. Um, Hold on. A 5 e 2 isn't working. Jenny, do you know how much armor scale mail gives? It wouldn't do anything on you. You just have your natural. No, armor I need. From I need. I need to subtract. That's why I'm asking. Oh. Uh. Why do you need to subtract? Uh, uh, character sheet reasons. Can the scale mail is fourteen plus dex, which is two. Max two, rather. So it's fourteen plus whatever your dex is. So subtract maximum two. At max, you should have 16 AC with scale mail, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. He's trying to figure out his base armor. My natural armor. Said, said right. and, and natural like, armor is... is 10 plus dex. That's all it is. Oh, There's gotcha. no bonuses there for natural armor. Okay. Okay, then, yeah. Uh, uh, this does not hit me. Damn. Damn, you got 13 dex, huh? Wacky. I mean, three <laughs> positive decks. Because there's no way you got an 18 in decks. We've been over this. Everyone's got an 18 in a different stat. Indeed. I, wouldn't he use the uh, Dire Wolf? What? Decks? We, it's it's all good. My, we figured it out. Okay. But yeah, so then that okay, would be back. Finro up next. Oh, yeah. Finro time. Finro time going around this way. I'm finally gonna kill this. <laughs> there we'll... And then I'm going to use uh let me see. Yeah I'm gonna use guiding bolt. <laughs> oh spicy understandable. Will Alright good deal. Will it hit it That's does. a bad damage roll though. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like less than bad. half of what you can get. Got yep. It's got like a five in there, though. It's all right. Um, so yeah. that's 11 damage. Yeah. Boom. Ouch. Next attack's advantage. Yep. And then? The frying pan. Well, no, it's not a frying pan. That's only on crits. <laughs> yeah. The crit is a frying pan. Otherwise, it's like a patchwork. That's right. Yeah, the cool. patchwork that cool uh, sinks into uh, the skin and erupts in those uh, abyssal white tendrils that hey, begin uh, pointing at all the weak points. Hey Rod, by the way, guiding bolts advantage applies to any attack, including spell attacks. You know, if you want to yeah. touch them again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking uh, that too. I was thinking that. Right, you know, maybe I should not. Maybe I should have <laughs> let Mitch speak on my slashing thing. <laughs> then are you doing anything else? Uh. That'll be it. Actually, uh, I'm going to... Let me see what the range on this is. Yeah, I'm gonna use my last spell slot to healing word rod. Alright. Oh. Why not healing nice. word the friend you just attacked? You're not our friend, friend right now. Rod. <laughs> rod attacked him first. It was self-defense. 
actively not true. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not what happened, actually. You startled me. <laughs> you were eating something raw. Keep it mind, was a deer. Is I controlling it. this uh, this beast, but Sawyer is not. If that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I got that. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> He's got oh, advantage. Wait. When we look you... beyond the beast side. So just click that attack roll you did on the. Wait, no, 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 you're paralyzed. Yeah, what you're paralyzed. do you mean? <gasps> oh, wait, yeah. Oh, that's right. No, you're not. Get out of here. Oh, God. You gotta oh, roll to recover. Um, yeah, right. I won't be paralyzed uh, anymore. At the end of your How turn, roll? roll me. Uh, that was the you... con save? It's straight up yeah. a loser turn. You gotta roll the con save. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're no. still paralyzed. Dang. Oh. oh. How are you ever going to hurt me now? With you, your you go to exploding. reach out, but your arm doesn't move. Your body is working against you as you think to yourself, I can't do this once again to him. It would it oh. would kill him, right? It would kill yeah. him. He, he is also frozen. Uh, that's Indeed. false. I would never think that. Yeah, Ooh. no, he just can't move. True. I, moved. <laughs> I don't mean to put words in your mind. All right, Baggy. All right, yeah. Fuck it. Giant Smite. Ooh. Big Baggy. Ooh. Let's go. Baggy oh, is going no. to wrestle this dog down. <laughs> I'd say you're still like, you're maybe up to, uh, it's no, I grow chest. large. Like I'm canonically large, Go so large. Dang, I'm okay. the size so of a large accurate. creature. It's this not medium. You're, you're, it's, the, it's you're the same size. You're the same size as I am. Yep. Yeah. So I so I grab him and tussle him to the ground, That's rolling wicked. athletics uh, with advantage. Oh, that is wicked. Nineteen. Nineteen. You gotta give oh me an God. athletics or an acrobatics check. So you can use decks here. Oh, I can. If you could have. Sorry. Dang. <laughs> Done strength though, but uh, just keep that in mind for next time. Uh, and yeah, if you so roll you to escape it, you can use decks. Yeah. Um, but currently, yeah, Baggy, you unexpectedly to this beast who sees you currently as just a a snack, right? Something it could bite and swallow in one fell swoop. Then suddenly. You grow to its size, and it, it you know, it, its hunched shoulders shrink down a bit as it backs up slightly as you run forth. And uh, yeah, how do you how do you grapple it? Baggy just tackles it. Whoo! Right, nice. If it was a natural twenty, I would say you you knocked him down prone, but nah, he's still up. Yeah. But you do run headlong into him. Good deal. Uh, Anything uh... else? Uh, that was a bonus action, which does mean I... Oh, no, the grapple was the full action. Uh, so, yeah. bonus action, grow big, grapple, full action. Do I have anything free action or anything to pop off real quick? Nope. Okay. Oh, That's we lost a body. Yeah. I don't know what happened. He just dipped about uh, 20 seconds ago. You got scared. Cool. It's too violent. Understandable. It's a spooky, <laughs> that is very spooky. No, I'm assuming you just go into the bathroom or something. Put his phone away. Fucking drink coffee. Wizard. Yeah. Yeah. No, anyway. So how long is a minute in combat? And uh, each round is six seconds. So oh, it's okay, cool. All right. But you can save from it. You can save from it. Yeah. You we both know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> you see that green anyway. next to it? it <laughs> no, that's it's, just to taunt me. It's it's a uh, big big wolf man up next, as I have him grabbed. Okay. And so I'm gonna. Oh, I guess I should roll a death grappled, save. You are grappled, but you can still make attacks from the grapple. Yeah, uh, I'm so, you know, I'm looking just, at it. I'm just looking at her, right? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at her, right? No. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, you are. You can. That's just an unlimited use thing. Yeah. Well, there's, there's I can't no use it on, on the same. Match. I can't use it on the same person. But... That's the yeah. 
that's the deal with this uh -huh. one. It is you can it can be continually used, but if the target saves, if you read down at the bottom there, you yeah, can okay. into it. Well, it's con, so of course I'm gonna save. Damn it! Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're immune. The the again the um the aura of pale white bursts Backy out sharply. Looks back, and there is a hatred burning inside her eyes right now. Ooh. And I, it's trying to break not free. Cow -cow. It's trying to break free a full action. That is a full action, yes. So you can do yeah. both. Okay. Um. I'm gonna roar at Baggy and have saliva get in her face. Bruh. Baggy doesn't blink. She stares you down. It gets like, directly in your eye. It's like when Sully. Oh, you're gonna have to roll a, a like fake a kid in the bed. Weapon attack. For yeah, that. you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do it for the accuracy. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not buying that. It's in your eye. No, actually, it was. It was a. It was a twenty. No. Let me see. There is one thing I need to look up about grapple real quick. One globule of spit gets in Baggy's eyes. I mean, Baggy, if you want to roll a only deck because, save. Only <laughs> because... Only because... We can run it like that. No, no. Only Baggy's because Baggy's eye no is a him. bigger <laughs> target now. All right. Baggy's oh. there, unblinking. Staring him dead in the face. Daring him. So we, we at least know what uh, Abode's plan was. Yeah, we can do so another say, attack for him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, oh, uh, oh, you're I'm back. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, hey. Yep. What do you, what do you probably, want to do? Yeah, I'm just probably trying to convince so you to just snap out of it, snap out of it. <laughs> so you're gonna try and convince him? Talk okay. to him? Going with that persuasion, persuasion check again? again? All right, there we go. This 13. time, it was not enough. After firing an arrow towards the beast and being that distance away, it seems that it cannot hear you. Being fully engaged with Baggy, trying to rend itself free as it, as its eyes are flaring and, and bursting. So that was your yeah, action. If you have a bonus or anything else. I think you're tapped at this point, right? Mm. In terms of bonus and all. Because you only have what? Uh, um, the planar warrior thing, which is for an attack, and then the hunter's mark, which you've already used too. Mavodi? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else you want to do, or just on the next no. turn? Next. Alright. Finn Rowan. Finn Rowan the boat. Alright. I am going to... I will say, no one has attempted to hit this creature yet, so there is still an attack yeah. roll to be made with advantage. Yep. Don't do um, it, it's not worth it. I'm your friend. Actively, you're not right now. You're the wolf, remember? <laughs> you can't have it both ways. You can't attack us what because you're the wolf and be our friend. Can yep. I check what time whenever, it's not, whenever it's not my turn, I, I, I uh, call timeout. <laughs> what time is it, like, in-game? Yeah. It's, uh, 11.29. I would okay, say but oddly in -game. enough, um... It's kind of close. I would say it's more okay. towards like 1 a.m. So we're nowhere close to morning. <laughs> no. Okay. That's so all yeah. I needed to know. Beat the shit out of them. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to try to knock them out. So. If you guys had waited, um, it might have been a viable option. But you guys went straight for yeah. it. So now, what I shall do... Um, yeah, I'm going to do Path to the Grave. Okay. You're going to kill me? No, no, it just makes you take double damage for one hit. <laughs> Why is everyone setting up? 
Where, where was this teamwork Wait on every second. other second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up. I gotta do googling about the uh, the in the uh, interactions. Does that override? I will. Yeah, it says the creature has vulnerability to all of that attack's damage. Because if it overrides, guess who's getting hit with an advantage scimitar, baby? What do you mean? Wait, can you do that when you have it? Can you? Can you do oh, that when you have are you gonna have bonus it? attack? I mean, yeah. Well, what would your scimitar do about? What do you uh, think? well, it'd be the 1d6 plus the, uh, 1d6, so it'd be a total of 2d6, but with advantage on the entire hit. Uh... Yes. I mean, that's basically what I got. No, actually, but apparently Isn't the meta -gaming? stage advice says, yeah, okay. uh, uh, Sage advice says it doesn't overwrite. It just adds vulnerability if there isn't immunity or resistance. So yours is the only one that would hit then. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So go ahead, Cole. Bonus so, action. So we got a, a magical little pitchfork coming out. Since I still have mm. level two spell slots. Mm. As my bonus action, I summon it. I whack him. But I get... One's on both of them. Okay. <laughs> wow, cool. You just couldn't do it. But all the right, pitchfork wow. is out. I hate this. It's still so, uh, all the setup was just but, and he is also and still... no one Wait. Does that... He is still vulnerable oh, to the path of yeah. the grave, but... I think it the... Specifically hits, but the guiding bolt is, gone. is yeah. gone, I believe. Uh... Let me just do blade check on that. I'm 90% sure it is. I'm pretty sure it uh, makes Dragon. an attack. I have it up. Uh, uh, the next attack roll made against the target. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. Rough. Well, if I hit, then it gets, you know, at least the bonus on the hex. All right. It's Roddy Boy. Right, Rod. What you doing? That pitch roll is huge for a second there. He can only roll. What are you talking about? It's because the con has to be done at the end of the turn. <laughs> well, you break it at least. Congrats, Rod. Nice. You get your turn back next turn. And he's gonna kill me with it. All right. Big baggy. Big baggy. Let me just do blade check something real quick. Okay. So is that? Oh, okay, I get. Wow, I didn't know that, huh? I really should have read this better. This won't help in this scenario, but goodness, that would have been better later. Or earlier, I meant. <laughs> apparently, Giant Smite, and I've apparently been missing this every time, um, adds a flat d6 onto all of my attacks. Uh, <laughs> but it's, what it's the hell? a d6, I believe, of the damage done, so it'd still be slashing. It wouldn't be just like an untyped, similar to... Unless it is similar to Sneak Attack, in which case this will do 2d6 to him instead of the 3d6. I need to look that up real quick. Giants, my... What, wouldn't damage. it just be a harder slash? Well, that's the thing, but Sneak Attack is untyped damage, and it's a similar scenario to that. Sneak Attack, sneak attack does whatever d6 is an untyped, so it's always not resisted. Uh, oh. Similarly... Yeah. I didn't really sneak attack was like that. That's why. Yeah, sneak attack is untyped. There's a few things that are untapped. If only Diddy survived. Uh, I think Hunter's enough. Mark is, uh, you know, um, similar. Uh, according to what I'm reading online, it is 
Similar in nature to uh, Hunter's Mark Sneak Attack, etc. So that's just an extra D6 I'm going to hit with. Uh, assuming it hits, and this will be with the vulnerability. Uh, so potentially what we're looking at here is 2d6 times 2 ta damage, assuming a hit. So hey, let's go. Uh, and it's just a normal roll, because grappling... Does grappling give me advantage? I don't remember. I don't think it does. I think it just gives him disadvantage on other people attacks. Because uh, he's like preoccupied. Anyway, submit. Normal roll. 20 for 4. So let's see the 2d6s then. That are going to get multiplied. How? Okay. I, I'm just curious. That's how... 20 damage. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> how, do, do, how does do how do you attack dice. someone... How do you attack someone with a scimitar logically while holding them? I'm just curious. Baggy, you can I still hold someone hands. with one hand. Baggy, but... I, I normally do it double the dice rather than oh, okay. double the damage. We can, well, here, then we'll do two more d6. Wait, no. Mm -hmm. Vulnerable, though, is some, something else. It's not like. It's even even if she rolls two more it dice, doesn't no, that's fine. doesn't work as crit. I thought it did. No, vulnerable no, is no, not crit. It's just, yeah, double, it's double damage. damage. Straight it just double damage. The damage. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hey, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. No, crit crit is one thing. Crit is where you roll the dice again. Vulnerable is straight up just double damage. Okay. Like uh like resistance is half damage. You wouldn't roll half the dice, you'd just take the total and half it. So yeah. So twenty. And I'm not killing you, Nick. Don't worry, but you are knocked out. You are fully knocked out, bro. I clonk you. Pommel strike. That's what this is. I was about to ask, oh. how do you do it? <laughs> you Pommel strike rightly. to his fucking noggin. You take off the billet or whatever it's called at the bottom and throw it at him. <laughs> yeah, so he's pommel struck on the head. He falls. Begins to shrink. As... Uh, the form does shift. It still has semblances of the creature, right? The face is slightly elongated. It's uh, There's some fur patches here and there. Uh, but Sawyer seems to return, at least partially, back to his initial form, though he is utterly conked. Taking them back. Yep. Hope that doesn't happen again. Should we tie them up? Just in case. Yes. Yeah, we good idea. Explicitly tie. I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> good idea. Fine. Well, anyway, hurry it up. We got a limited time limit on this little big mo, and I'm not looking forward to dragging his body back. In that one minute, well, I guess what's left? Minus three rounds, so that's 18.42 seconds. So seven rounds worth of speed. I can go 210 feet Snap. with his body. You make it at least part of the way. <laughs> yeah, before and, I shrink him. And sure enough, you know, you maybe see uh, uh, the odd winter wolf that ducks out of the way and it's hunting and... Maybe a, a white rabbit that hops away, at, especially at the stomping, sp sprinting of, of the giant baggie. Uh, but you all return uh, back to the encampment. With the body of Sawyer in tow. Having the defeated body, the massive dire wolf that he had transformed into. So, Battered do we just wheel. gotta... You stumble your way out of the tree line and back into your cots. So do we just gotta live with uh, Dr. Jute and Mr. Hyde now? And that's Hyde spelled H-I-D-E and Jute as in um, um, fabric. I don't think I've heard of that. 
my research. What is that? It's, it's a book, fine. Oh, a book? Yes. Yeah, is it? No, I don't carry it's books around on me. I'm a nerd. I mean, I'm not a nerd. Christ, I'm <laughs> fucking tired is what I am. Swear to God, when Sawyer wakes up, we are having a long, long talk about disclosing to the group and what the fuck he's been doing. And perhaps yeah. those answers will come at the sun's, at the day's rise. But we'll have to wait till next time to find them. Yeah. Out. We should have just Maybe. slept. We should have just slept. You will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You will get I wish somebody had said that. I will say you'll get. I wish everybody had said that, and then we were still like, "Oh no." You'll get the benefits of the full rest before you set out for your journey. Okay, I was about to say because I'm I'm like <laughs> tapped a lot. Yeah. And I was really gonna screw over the whole. <laughs> Uh, we, yes. do, we just go, we wake up the next morning, nobody got a rest, Sawyer's just like all energetic, everybody else is just injured from the past battle. And Sawyer is energetic, but completely tied up. I'm like, like what's yeah. up? I'm just like, what's up with you guys? <laughs> uh, but we will, we will see how that interaction goes come tomorrow. Um, and for us, come next week. Thank you all for playing in my game. Uh, this was yeah. a heck of a fun fight, and um... Yeah, I hope you guys had fun. Yeah, first session I've been fully in since like yeah, I know. only yeah. like almost a month now or some shit. It's been a little longer than that, I feel it's like. It's good to have you. Yeah. yeah. But it, it is good for you to move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's right. in the US. <laughs> as well. That's right. <laughs> This one really doesn't count. <laughs> I will say, if I can give like some some closing thoughts there, I was super excited a to see how um how a fight would would go like with one character transformed and the others having to uh, face off against what what they transformed into. I thought that was pretty fun with the PvP. Yeah. Rod uh, fucking walked up and did half my health with one hit. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> yeah. gosh. Just right. Oh, that's that's good. And that's yeah. not even close to like the max damage any of us have done in one turn. Yeah, you guys yeah, were able to flex. Yeah, the most I've done is like 10. <laughs> flex a little bit. <laughs> you still do better consistently than me, though, Nick. And once again, if you did spend more time in combat with the rest of us, you would see that more consistently. Baggy doesn't have high damage options at all, especially not before fifth level. I get one hit per turn on average, and that's it. <laughs> And Nick, you did fight well, uh, I'd say. Yeah. When I saw them all grouped up, I, I saw, I, because I read my abilities beforehand, grouped up, I, I knew I had to. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's the way to go. As an um, initiating thing. I will say, though, I did not anticipate the idea of just leaving him till the morning but that was viable i just want to make that clear oh. that that would have been a viable strategy um uh, and uh Let him do I, I did have uh, you know the the i did have the session prepped uh, a little bit further beyond this point just in just in case but i just i hadn't even considered that <laughs> for me i i did that because i didn't know how long the fight would go but Thankfully, I I did have something prepared. If you guys did, just kind of, just kind of skirt that so we one. We should have. We should have. Dude, right. We we so all to sleep, we're man. learning we is on the fight, on the fun fight. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> all we're learning is oh, yeah, that what? if Sawyer is ever in danger, and we as the group are okay, <laughs> just put it off. <laughs> I have. I'm fun. sure he would do the exact same for us. I just want to know, like that, that's, that's why the, I was dying. That's the person who got carried back in the snow. <laughs> that's why I was dying uh, at, at hey, you, you guys. Just heard Sawyer's, you just heard Sawyer's voice in the back of your head saying, "I'm glad I have such good friends." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh, um, Mitch, did enough time pass for George to complete his task? Uh, I'd say in the night we could could make a roll for yeah what he created. George uh, we'll, broke we'll the glass. We'll handle that on the next one. <laughs> he okay. broke the snail. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. I programmed. 
He malfunctioned and broke the scale I, because I, when you uh, went wolf mode, the magical programming <laughs> went on the fritz. Yeah, I, pr I programmed him for one. when Sawyer equals gone, make glass. And so he sees Sawyer gone no matter the circumstance and makes glass. <laughs> good stuff, yeah. good stuff. Um, but yeah, oh. we, can, uh, we can chat a little bit afterward here, but if anybody needs to head on and hit the hay... Is a okay. <laughs> Mitch, am I a oh, werewolf no now? Did the opposite of the move go with the <laughs> And he's gonna hit a different thing. The weight, yeah. not the hay. And hopefully um, soon something else. Hit the gym. Yeah. I'm gonna Fuck. show you actually the equipment I use. Fuck books. Books are for pussies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I wish I had a, a gym to go to. I need some weights, bro. I need gains. I got, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky. I got like the Palmer gym, and I also got uh, like three gyms in the university. And campus is like a minute walk away from my apartment, so. Mm -hmm. 